Okay, Shelby Jones coming at y'all from Jones and Four CrossFit. Okay, earlier we had gone over uh, some squats and pistols, and I, I kind of told y'all that we would come back and show you how to, how to fix some of those sticky spots that most people have with either their ankles or their hips. Uh, so what we're gonna go through now is an ankle mobility, and then we'll show you another video for your hips, trying to get those opened up to get you down to the bottom of that squat or pistol, and then get back up out of it. All right, so y'all bear with us, check it out. All right, guys, so what we're gonna check out first is a little, uh, little gastroc, soleus, heel cord, calf lengthening, okay? Um, gonna work on the dorsiflexion a little bit. That's obviously going to help you get that knee a little bit more forward, keep your chest more upright in the bottom of the squats and the pistols, which helps tremendously, okay? Uh, so the first thing we do, you're gonna find where you're gonna do your stretch at. You can use a door jam. I have this wonderful rig here, uh, built by Rogue. Um, we can go ahead and put that heel down on the ground, keep the weight on the heel. This is good to do with shoes. Without shoes, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, toes up, and then you want to tension that posterior chain and then throw your hips into either the door jam or the rig. You want to try to keep those toes up um, and basically try to get your hips all the way in. Uh, what I see a lot of people do whenever they're doing the stretch is they'll lean in and be like, yeah, I'm awesome at stretching. Okay, no. Um, you want your hip to go into the rig, not so much your shoulders, okay? Uh, another, another way to do that, hit a little bit more of the soleus and the heel cord is actually going in with your knee, bending the knee first, and that will hit a totally different area. Um, shopping around, uh, always say shop around. Trying to find that tissue that is tight for you, okay? Not everybody's gonna be the same. Some of the tissue might be tighter on the outside than it is on the inside. Um, so really turning your leg either out going into the rig or turning it in and going back into the rig. You'll notice that you have different range of motion in each of those angles. So being sure that you find the area that you need the most work in and working there, okay? All right, guys and gals. So uh, the next stretch we're gonna show is, uh, is the pigeon. So this, this position that you see me attempting to get into down here is, uh, is a great hip opener. Um, if you have problems with your hips, this is probably where you need to be hanging out for a little bit, okay? Um, some of the key things that you need to pay attention to whenever you're, you're getting into this position, you notice you wanna to try to keep your leg coming out from the hip about 90 degrees, your knee bent at 90, and then your heel at 92. So if your hip, like me, I can't get my hips all the way down there yet, you bring that heel in and sit down into it a little bit more. Pulling the, the right hip, or whichever hip you have out in front, whichever leg, pulling that back, pushing the opposite hip forward, and then leaning over, tensioning that right side. Feels amazing, and it's great. Uh, if you're doing these static stretches, you could probably hold these for two to three minutes uh, if you wanna do some real change there. Um, you can take this a little bit further. You can actually go all the way down. And you can also shop around, like we always say. Okay, so you can turn, change that direction, twist a little bit more, find that range of motion, Come to the opposite side, come over here. Uh, just making sure you're finding those tough spots and uh, showing some love, <laughs> all right? All right, guys, so thank you for watching. As you just saw, we just took you through a couple of uh, great mobility uh, workouts for uh, increasing ankle range of motion and hip mobility. All right, guys, so we've been doing these videos and I, I, I wanna ask y'all, you know, what are some trouble spots that, that y'all need help with? What do y'all wanna see? Um, leave it in the comments below. We have, we have our website, we have the emails. Um, just drop it in the comment below, okay? And we'd love to, to you know, get that going, be able to show y'all what y'all wanna see. Um, as always, please check us out at jonesandforcrossfit.com and remember, make every rep count.